Okay, it's the winter time. I've got a, like a jacket on. It's like, it's like 55 degrees outside. We're freezing our butts off here in Florida. Uh, and what better thing to talk about in the winter is washing your car. <laughs> For all of you who can't wash right now. Uh, but if you're fortunate, maybe you have a uh, hose bib and pressure washing system in your garage inside. Uh, and of course, for the spring that's coming up, uh, you're going to want to, you know, fill up your buckets as efficiently as possible. And so, I've been after this for a while. Uh, we've we've uh, designed and launched our, our bucket fillers, uh, probably you know seven eight months ago. I don't even know if I'd call it designed, but just put the right parts together in order to provide a one-click solution. <clears throat> and we have two options. We have a regular garden hose version. Uh, I did this. Uh, it's a little different than our normal traditional garden ho hose. This is a, uh, a section of a, a Continental Frontier hose. Very, very different than the hoses that you'll find at the Continental hose you'll find at the big box stores. Uh, so this is a very, very different rubber material. Uh, we have some pretty stout uh, crimp connected ferrules that are set up on these. Uh, and then we send them with, uh, with quick disconnects. This would be the entry version, uh, which is 24 inches in length. Uh, it's rubber and, uh, and it costs you know, 20, 30 bucks. Uh, and we send it assembled, ready to go in order to accept uh, some sort of, some sort of uh, fire hose nozzle. And I've been talking about this for a very long time where, you know, we, we, I use this uh, old uh, Adams fire hose nozzle. Uh, I think this is made by Dixon valve or something like that. Uh, and I've never been able to line it up where I could purchase these at a reasonable uh, margin and make it reasonably cost to you. And so these things cost, you know, 150 bucks or so. And it's, it's good, uh, but it's, you know, I don't think it's, I don't, I don't think I would want to spend 150 bucks on it, even if I I was buying the $200 plus uh, T316 stainless version of the hose. Uh, and so recently a subscriber, sorry brother, I can't remember your darn name, but I should honor the source um, and maybe make a comment in this video if you watch it. What is it? Dale. Dale? Yeah. Yeah, Dale. Kyle just let me know. Dale's the guy who referred these to me. And when I saw it, I'm like, get out of here, Dale. I don't want that junk. Uh, and he must have followed up with the people because they contacted me and I basically told them to get lost. <laughs> and because uh, this looks like some Chinese hunk of crap in the pictures. And, uh, and so they sent me one and I got it and I opened it and I was, did my normal scoff at it and threw it in the cabinet. And then one day I just said, well, let me try this thing out. And, uh, and it's actually really darn good uh, for 35 bucks. You know, and then uh, we put a stainless uh, quick disconnect on it. Uh, but this is a H, what's the company? I think it's HISC out of California. Uh, these are made in Taiwan. Uh, and, uh, and I'm gonna buy them in quantity. It's called the, uh, the original ultimate hose nozzle. Uh, but I don't care about any of that stuff. What I care about is how does it function? Uh, you know, the head is stainless, the body is aluminum, um, so it doesn't rust or corrode like, you know, like, um, like it could. You know, same thing with the more expensive. This is all aluminum. It's, I believe, anodized aluminum body uh, of the, the old Adams fire hose or the, the Dixon valve version. They weigh about the same. Uh, this one clearly looks different. It looks a little bulkier. I'm telling you, on camera, it looks pretty cheap. Uh, but in person, when you put it in your hand, it's actually pretty stout. Uh, this rubber protective uh, surround is really pretty solid. Uh, I like that, uh, that it doesn't, um, it's not gonna mar up or beat up my bucket. If I dropped it on the ground, it would be fine. Uh, but the main advantage is the pattern, the, the spray pattern for filling buckets. This is the only thing I use this for. I use this thing just simply for, uh, you know, I turn it on. I kind of set it to the, to, the, to the type that I like or the, the pattern that I want. Uh, it creates, you know, I don't want a direct stream because it shoots the soap out the bucket, but I want like a, you know, I don't want it too wide. So this gives me just a really, really, uh, quality, bulky uh, pattern, spray pattern, actually even a little bit better than the much more expensive version. And I'm telling you, I'm not, I get accused of this all the time. Hey man, you're only selling what you can sell. Uh, you know, you're just picking things that you can sell and you, know, and you can think whenever you want, but I actually like this, which is very rare. I also get accused of, you only want to buy the most expensive stuff. 
well, this is cheap. It's 35 bucks retail. So, you know, you can say what you want. Uh, I like it. I want to provide solutions to people. I think it'd be pretty cool to provide a full solution. Uh, and I, believe it or not, like for once in my life, like something cheaper, better. I still like this. Uh, so if you want a really, really high end, high quality, you can go to Dixon Valve and find one. I still haven't figured out which one it is. They have like three different versions of this. I couldn't even buy it. Like it's a pain in my butt to even buy unless I go to the local Dixon Valve place and get one. So you can buy that if you want. But I would suggest for filling buckets and washing cars, this is the way I'd go. The thing's pretty sweet. So the other battle we had, and the reason why I haven't, haven't had them sooner than this, is they sell them wholesale. They sell them in a four pack with black, blue, green, and red. I'm like, well, I don't want all those colors. I just want black, and I want like 500 of them so I can provide them to people. They said, oh, we can't do that. I said, well, I'm going to end up with like a thousand green, you know, that nobody wants, green colored versions. And so through uh, quite a bit of back and forth, Chris finally executed it uh, where we convinced them to give us a shot. Take the darn green ones out, open up the boxes, and just send us the darn black ones. Uh, and so the good news is we're going to have a bunch of black. And then I ordered like 10% of the order I ordered in blue and red because we have blue and red buckets. Some people might want that. Uh, so my guess is we'll sell very few. I want a black one. And so my guess is everybody else is going to want a black one too. And so black will be the bulk of what we stock. If you guys are buying a bunch of blues or you want greens, I guess we can get those two in the future. Um, but this, you know, by the time you're watching this video, just click the link in the description, you can go buy it. Uh, same thing with the bucket fillers. Uh, we have the T316 stainless. This you can buy in, in a bunch of different sizes. So we have this in the store in various sizes, um, 12 inch, I think 18, 24. I can get it in, 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 in traditional sizes, 24, 30, 36, 48, you know, I can get these in different lengths, custom order. We stock some of the various sizes. The most common we stock is the 24 inch version. Uh, and if you're wondering, I use a prior hose bib. It's the anti-siphon quarter turn version with a green handle. It's the frost free type. Uh, and I'm hoping to, you know, maybe you guys can share this video to prior and convince them to let me sell those uh, because it's confusing to buy those as well. Uh, there's a very specific model that I suggest. Uh, so the the, I'm hoping to get prior hose bibs, but I set the prior hose bib at 40 inches of height. So it's very non-traditional. You're going to set the hose bib up at, you know, my lower chest height. So the bucket filler comes down and then the, then the filler fits halfway into your bucket, into your six gallon OG version of the bucket. So that's the design and the way I've set it up. So new uh, HISC, uh, probably the cheapest darn thing we have in this tour. And, uh, but man, this thing is pretty sweet, I'm telling you. I think you'll like it. So I wouldn't put it in there if I didn't like it. So anyway, it's up, it's live. We should, uh, we probably have them in stock by the time you're watching this. If not, it'll be set up, just read the description, it'll, it'll set up as a pre-order. Um, but yeah, available at ogobsessedgarage.com and uh, you've seen me use them in my buckets. This is the one I've been using and it's been sitting outside wet, no corrosion, no issues, looks great. And then you can choose to add a uh, full solution to either doing the stainless or the less expensive. So, you know, now we're talking about a, you know, a $70, $65 combo uh, versus a, you know, whatever this is, $300 combo. So if you've got $300 buckets, I think you need a $300 hose filler or a bucket filler. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for letting me come up and find these things. And uh, yeah, hope you buy it. I think it's worth it. Catch you on the next one.